This is so exciting. Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome back to the channel. So I think today's gonna to be a good day. I'm, um, I've just driven up to Oban, where I'm about to board the ferry to head over to the Isle of Mull. Um, I'm really excited. It's, uh, it's a place I've never been to. In fact, I've never been to Oban either. And um, within about five minutes of arriving and taking a short walk across the beach, I found all these uh, black guillemots like nesting in the wall. So I managed to get a couple of images and some footage of those, which is just awesome. In true uh, typical Scottish fashion, it's uh, raining. So a little bit colder up here than it was when I left Devon, but I don't care. It doesn't dampen the spirits. I can't wait to get on this boat, off the other side, and um, hopefully find some otters. So I'm in Mull and um, what an incredible place, absolutely stunning, um, the views just, oh, it's just incredible, absolutely incredible. So I've been here a couple of hours now and it's still raining but it has slowed down so I thought I'd come out and do a piece to camera. I've basically driven pretty much the whole way around the island, um, not quite the top, like the north bit but pretty much the whole way around and um, looking for otters and I haven't found any but I did see a diver which is pretty awesome that's the first for me so I've got some images of that um, and that's always a bonus isn't it when you see something you weren't expecting to see but yeah no no otters yet despite um, a couple of hours trying so I think the weather's been a little bit against me it's been so windy and it just hasn't stopped raining which is and the water's so choppy if you can see that um, so it's made things quite difficult I think but the forecast for tomorrow is really good and the day after so I'm gonna head to my campsite now get the van set up probably have a beer and uh, chill out for a bit and then I'm gonna head out for first light and um, hopefully we get to find some otters so um, yeah I'll see you all in the morning
Good morning and welcome to a beautiful morning here in Mull. Uh, what a difference a day makes. It's, it's stunning today. The wind just, I could just feel it just dropping off overnight and um, we have no rain. So there's two big bonuses. I also got a really good night's sleep in the van. So I feel fresh, recharged and ready to go. Um, so where I'm staying uh, on, on, on the campsite, I don't know where about it is on the island, if I'm completely honest, but um, the owner of the campsite was really cool. And I told her what I was here for and that I wanted to see otters. And she circled a few locations on a map for me. And um, on my way here, as I was driving along the lock, I saw an otter. It was just incredible. I, I felt quite emotional, to be honest. You know that feeling where your, your heart's just going and you've got that adrenaline? And there wasn't really that much I could do, to be perfectly honest, because I was driving, obviously. I had the, the camera on the passenger seat and the otter, the lock was on the left-hand side. So I had to like lean over, wind down the window, because I don't have electric windows, and um, stick, stick the lens on the window. And I managed to just get a little bit of footage as it was just running across the beach, which was just, or the, sh or the shoreline or whatever you'd call it on a lock. It was just incredible. And uh, I pulled up, I parked up the van, got out, got the binoculars out, and uh, I just couldn't find it. And I've waited, um, and that was about 30 minutes ago, and I haven't seen it again. So I thought I'd do a piece of the camera um, but I'm just going to stick around here I think, probably head back to the van, have a coffee and just keep my eyes peeled because the fact I've already seen one, albeit, you know, fleeting as it was just like running along the shoreline, it bodes pretty well, doesn't it? I mean, what a place just to sit and watch anyway, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Sadly, I had to move on from that location. I, um, after speaking to you guys, I went back to the van to make a coffee and a couple of guys came up that were about to resurface the road. So they said they were closing the road and I needed to kind of move on. So that was a bit disappointing because I'd obviously seen the otter there and I felt quite confident about seeing one again. If only I could have been there a little bit longer. But um, staying positive, I've moved further north and um, I've come to this amazing lock that you see behind me and um, I've already seen so much wildlife like wading birds, some ducklings, it's just awesome. So I can't really complain. Um, the only thing I haven't seen is an otter. I think, I don't really know that much about trying to find otters but I think the best thing for me to do is probably just continue to drive along this lock uh, really, really slowly, stopping every now and again and just hope to see some movement in the water it's really flattened off now, so I think that's probably gonna give me the best chance, just look out for anything moving in the water, um, rather than just watching the rocks to see if anything moves. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit longer, because it's lovely, <laughs> and then I'm gonna jump back in the van, take a little drive on this road up here, and um, hopefully, hopefully, we find some otters. Just driving around the lock as I mentioned um, just stopped for a little bit of food and was kind of getting excited every time I saw a diver or a gull or a duck or to be honest anything move in the water um, but yeah sorry if it's a bit bumpy by the way the roads a bit holy in places but um yeah getting excited for everything but still no sign of an otter uh, it's now coming up to two o'clock um, I've been out all day and only saw that um, fleeting 
glimpse of one. So whilst that was amazing, I would be lying if I said I won't be disappointed if I don't find another one. Um, I've been told this is a good place, so I am still feeling really optimistic, but I, it does feel a little bit like I'm looking, it's like, it's like a needle in a haystack kind of situation. There's um, just so much lock and so many rocks, and I'm looking for something that's um, you know, the size of a small dog, so it's definitely challenging, but all of that said, it'll make it more rewarding when I find one. So I probably need to concentrate because I'll kind of want to be watching the road and the lock at the same time. So doing that whilst talking to the camera is not the best idea. But um, I promise that I'll speak to you guys again if and when I find an awesome. <laughs>